Okay, this shouldn't take long. It'll be just five minutes if you cooperate. <laughs> so let's do this and go home, okay? Now tell me, do you know why you're here? Of course I know. You brought me here in the car, remember? Because you said so. Well, not really because you said so. I was kind of forced. What are we seeing here? That's relative. Isn't this your roommate? Oh, yeah. Is that a gun? It is a stapler. Could you hurt someone with it? Obviously. But what cannot be used to hurt someone? Anything could be used as a weapon, which makes the stapler irrelevant in the scene, just like all the other things you didn't ask about. And what is this? Do you agree that it's blood? Absolutely no. I can tell. It could easily just be red water, right? This is serious. After receiving the picture, we went to your house, but we didn't find your roommate. Basically, your roommate is missing. Oh. Yeah, I know. When was the last time you saw her? Right now, in the picture. <laughs> yeah, she's looking very much like her. Your emotional display reveals you're absolutely fine with the situation. You were tired of her, weren't you? Who took this picture? That's not important. I know. Right now, the important thing is to find whoever hurt your roommate. Just to make sure, tell me what you did today, since the beginning. Well, I woke up and started reading a book I read every morning. What's the name of the book? Pride and Prejudice. What is it about? Jeez, is this an interrogatory? It is. Uh, it is about a feeling in our consciousness of one of the characters' own dignity facing this, let's say preconceived opinion <laughs> that is not based on reason or actual experience. It is quite a marriage-oriented story. Okay, that was extremely vague, but go on. Then, I turn on the TV. Market news. There are a lot of numbers on and now is when I invest. Green numbers, a big ha, number. yeah. knew it. Yeah, you were right. You Too much invest. work. Those numbers again, in ascending order, are... One, two, but this is three. not too much work. Four. Getting a lottery ticket? Not a ticket, the ticket. And just when I was going to do something about it, my roommate says, Did you know that a third of lottery winners end up bankrupt? Money won't make you happy. Yes, I know, which means numbers are in my favor. So you were quite confident about getting the winning ticket. Oh yeah, 100% sure. How so? She asked the same thing. How so? I am going to travel back in time. Why would you tell her that? Because it is the truth. It cannot be the truth. You can't travel in time. <laughs> I don't like that word. Time? No, can't. So why did you want to travel back in time? To buy the winning ticket. I'm traveling one day before the lottery. You can't do that. When you travel back in time, you're not rewinding the day. You're actually starting over. So you can't predict anything. I don't like that word. Anything? No. Can't. But seriously, you don't predict what people will do. Unless they are predictable people. Exactly. People are predictable. So I'm doing it. Don't come to me during my globe charting when I have the money. What happened next? Unfortunately, my family came to visit and we had lunch with them. They usually make annoying questions. So, honey, are you getting a job anytime soon? I have some connections for you to get a job easily. <laughs> I'm okay. And you, darling, are you planning on getting well married? Yes, that is all I want. A husband and money will make my life better. Your story has inconsistencies. But anyways, you mentioned time travel, so it cannot get worse. Time travel. That part comes now. I put on my time travel outfit and I travel one day to the past. How do you do that? Through a time travel door I created. Go on. I was there, like, really bored, because I got too early, so I decided to go check what I was doing. I found myself training, as expected.
Is that what my hair looks like from the back? And then I went to the store, asked for a ticket, chose the winning numbers, and that was at the end. Are you rich now? No, because my roommate also went back in time and stole my ticket. So she got the money. So you killed her? With a stapler? Hmm, yeah, apparently. Uh, yeah, that's it. Um, are we of done? Of course not. You just confessed to murder. Yeah. Hmm. Is there anything you want to tell me? No. Okay, we're done. You'll have to spend a night here. And more boring bureaucracy related things are not really relevant to this video. One question though. How on earth did you end up here? Of all types, you end up being interrogated. It was supposed to be a normal day in the life of you both. <laughs> what does that tell you about yourself? That I'm doing something right. Okay. And you, darling, are you planning on getting well married? Well married? What is this? Pride and Prejudice? What is that? A book. A novel that follows the A character third of my life of will be spent at work if I get a job. One hour to wake up and get ready, one hour for breakfast and memes, one hour commute to work, eight hours of work, another hour for lunch, one hour to come back home, one hour to eat, seven hours of sleep maybe. That leaves me with like three hours a day for myself. And what would I do with that time? What am I passionate about? When will I have time for cryptography? Should I wear a tie more often? They're pretty cool. Sorry, I zoned out a while ago. Those numbers again in ascending order are eight, infinite. No, 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 no. Wait. White. Cold. Loneliness. And the she was cold. right. Anxiety. Hello. Huh. Guess who's rich? No way. Prove it. Fine. What are you doing? Tell me, would someone poor do this with the food? Wasted? Would someone poor just pour ketchup on the floor like this? You didn't have to do that, you know. It does not prove you're rich. You always do those kind of things. Well, then you do it with a mustard. I'm not gonna do that. Because you're poor. No, if I was rich, I wouldn't do it either. How do you know that? You're not rich. You can't know. I'm the one who's rich here, so I know. I won't just leave. If you leave now, I'll empty all the seasoning bottles and they'll all end up as our dead friend ketchup. Because I don't care. Because I'm super rich. Fine. Repeating the stock meals, huh? I wonder if I can predict again. I shouldn't invest now. Yeah, you were right. You no changes. I am an huh. And I'm an expert. Okay? How? So you should listen to me. Hey, the stock market didn't ch Where are you? What? Hello everyone, sorry I'm late. <laughs> I just came to mention before the bloopers <laughs> that my song Whimsical is out. There's going to be a Spotify link and also another link to all the other platforms. The song is also on Bandcamp and it's set to pay what you want. And this will help with creating more music. All the wishes support are totally free. Give a heart on a Spotify. Add the song to playlists where it fits. Share the song with someone who may like it. Okay, bloopers now. <sighs> that 
that was exhausting. <sighs> what? Yes, I am both people. I have a time travel door. Of course I play with time. I don't have a roommate. Well, I do. Myself. What do you expect? I'm a board ENTP. Or what is this? No. Do you agree? No, 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 no. no. I don't agree. I don't agree. Shut up. Myself. <gasps> I am stuck. I'm hungry. So, honey, are you getting a job? I have some... <laughs> Why am I speaking like... So, honey, are you getting a job? <laughs> I am dying internally. Internally, I am dying. Not because of nothing. So, honey, are you getting a job soon? I have some connections that could make. Why am I cutting with a fork? Thank you so much, everyone. The meal was delightful, but I will stick to the wine. <laughs> Guess who's rich? No, I'm not putting my hand on anything. <laughs> Freezing. My dog's paws. This goes to bloopers. Oh, although it's not that fun. But that's the best I can do right now. The wig fell into the... Toilet. 